All right. Tired of my current router and wireless not going through my house. So I went with a uh, mesh router system. So I went with the uh, Amazon Eero. Read a few reviews. Seemed like it was a decent price. Good coverage, good reviews. So just showed up an hour ago. So I'm gonna open this up and set it up. So it says it's good for covering 5,000 square foot homes. I don't have even half that right now, so should work good. So it comes with uh, three Eros units, three power adapters, and one ethernet cord, which should be everything you need to get started. So let's open her up. Can't open something new without the office playing in the background, of course. Andy says, cross me and I will destroy you, Tuna. Hey, what? Ooh, that's another error in the office. I gotta write that one down. Andy steals his boss's premium computer when he leaves Stanford. And yet, later on in the show, he continues to complain because his computer is so slow and shitty. And then when Erin gets the upgrade, she ultimately gifts it to Andy without Pam's blessing. And we know where that all goes. So it slides out. So it's got a matte finish on the sides, gloss on the top, and nice rubber grip on the bottom so it won't slide off a table. That's good. I think that's smart. It says, open this card to get started. can't read those so you're just a few steps away download the app unplug your current modem and anything connected to it step three begin with the modem unplugged open the app and follow along all right so here's the Eero app doesn't have a great score but okay good so let's start all right, so it says unplug your modem and follow along on the app. So let's do that. Let's unplug. Okay. All right. So it says you're ready to start setting up your network. Gateway Euro, power cord, ethernet, modem. Okay, start. Okay, so unplug your old modem and old router from power. Okay, I just did that. Next. Connect your gateway Euro device to your modem using the ethernet cable that came in the box. I'll grab one of these guys. So we're just gonna plug the ethernet cord in I'm going to try using this first one here. So I'm going to set this guy up here. And... Let's just quickly plug this guy. Alright. Next step. 
Oh, it does say you can use either port on the back of the gateway. Perfect. Okay, first plug your gateway your device into any available power outlet and then reconnect your modem to power. Okay, so it says plug in the Eero device first, then connect to your modem. All right, so here's our first AC adapter. So I noticed the Eero devices use a USB-C. All right. So now we got our power plugged in. We got our ethernet plugged in. So it says power up the Eero device first, then the modem. All right, so. I have done as they asked. I plugged in the Eero device, then I plugged in the modem. Now the Eero device is blinking blue. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay. It's now looking for Eero devices. Shouldn't have to look too hard. So it says it turns blue when it's found, solid blue, and it is solid blue. So my device has been found. Where is your Eero? Let's call it the family room. All right, let me create some secret stuff here. Okay, so I set up a network name and a password, and now it says um, I am, my room is set up, it has power, and it is connected to the internet. Ready to set up another Euro device? Mm, sure. Let me go uh, grab another one and head to another room. Getting the AC cord ready. I'm in my second room here. So, it says, ready to set up an another device? Yes. Place your Eero device centrally. If you have a dead spot, try to place your new Eero device between the dead spot and another Eero device to ensure a strong connection. It says, avoid placing it in front, on top, or under electronics and appliances as metal objects can block Wi-Fi signals. Plug in your Eero device. Remember to keep it out in the open and away from large electronics or appliances as metal objects can block Wi-Fi signals. Well, we'll try it out in this first spot here. So I plugged in the device, just the USB-C to the AC uh, power outlet, and I hit next on the phone, so now it's got Bluetooth searching for the device. Should turn blue, I think, once it's located the signal. There we go. Solid blue indicates that it's been found. All right, that wants me to name this one. Let's call it Front Room. Okay. Add another device? You bet. Let's do it. All right, so I just wanted to quickly follow up. Um, so it's been two days now um, since I've had the Amazon Eero um, mesh router system in place at my house. Um, anyway, I just wanted to recap and let you know, uh, after two days of using it, um, really the system's fantastic. Um, so if I walk all around my house, 
again, my house isn't huge. It's a uh, ranch, maybe 1,600 square feet. But uh, regardless, you know, if I go to every nook and cranny, walk the perimeter inside the house, farthest reaches, um, I still have full signal. Uh, I mean, I've done that with my mobile phones. Um, I haven't done that walk with my laptops, but, you know, I suspect the same results. Um, I did a speed test. Um, you know, again, my previous router was a few years old, so not surprisingly, um, just through regular updates and the way time works with technology, it's not surprising um, that the new router did have higher speeds for both uh, download and upload. Um, anyway, but yeah, I've, so far I'm really happy. It was really easy to set up the Amazon Eero. Um, I don't think I'll need any more units. Um, I've got the three modules that came in the box and for my house size, I think that's perfect, but it's really great. I mean, I now have full Wi-Fi, fast internet, um, whether I'm in my bedroom, my office area working, uh, bathroom, TV room, basement. I just, before I made this video, I just was walking in the basement to check and it's full signal all throughout the basement. So to me, that's really impressive. Um, I can certainly uh, make a recommendation, you know, for your house is in any way like my own, then it's a great system. So, um, again, you know, my channel's small time. Uh, I have no contact with Amazon. Nobody gave me free devices. I bought this on my own. Um, I think I paid $250 or $249.99, uh, just through Amazon direct. Um, but yeah, anyway, happy with the purchase. Um, hopefully it doesn't degrade or do anything silly but uh, if it stays working the way that it works today then I think I'll be happy for quite a while so uh, let me know if you have any questions otherwise uh, thanks for watching so we'll see you guys later